Hello beautiful people and welcome back again to On How channel. If you don't know, my name is Enes and I'm working for you. So now you know, if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't approach each comment if you are wondering again why is that because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to hide a section on your Shopify store only from the mobile. And yes, you heard that right. You can actually hide a specific section and only that section hide it completely on the mobile from your Shopify store so whenever a customer access the Shopify store from the mobile that section will not be visible but if he did access it from the desktop he will find that section and this is really good when it comes to designing your Shopify store because there is some sections that will not look good on the mobile uh, for example the map one for example the section that has the map for your store I mean the physical store on the map on the mobile is a little bit glitchy and does not work really good so you might want to hide that section on the mobile and when the customer access the Shopify store the Shopify store will work just fine but that particular section would not be visible just like it doesn't exist anymore but if you did access as I said the Shopify store from desktop that section will be shown again and we will do that without using any apps or anything like that and with very short call that will do the trick and if you are wondering why is that because obviously Shopify apps they do actually uh, affect the loading time if your Shopify store and affecting the loading time equals affecting the conversion rate of your Shopify store and that's one of the most important metrics when it comes to success in Shopify so make sure to keep that in mind as I said we will do that without using any apps and with very short code and completely free you don't have to pay for it or anything like that Unlike the other channels on YouTube I saw, they set a really short code and it does not even work. In this video, as I said, I will show you how to hide a section on the mobile for your Shopify store and we will do that completely free. And as I said, I'm working for you. I will even uh, support you with my comments and so on. And if you have any video requests, as I said, drop me a comment below. I will be happy to make a video for you just like this one you're watching right now. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. But before we start, as you can see the Shopify store right here is the store that I do all the tutorials on. The one that I think you would really like is the percentage discount instead of the sale bed right here. So if you did add a discount on the product it does show this bed right here and it says sale here right? I did make a video on how to change that sale to anything you want and another video on how to change this sale right here with the percentage for the exact discount that you have on your Shopify store which is really cool as you can see it looks much much more, more professional for example this one is 4% which is obviously $2 that was discounted from this product this one is uh, more than $30 that was discounted from the product that's why it's showing 36% off and the best thing about this trick is we did that without using any apps again with our own very short script that would do the trick and the script as always is available in the description box completely free and if you are wondering why I'm doing all this well just for the sake of this hidden right here as you can see it says just a like please that's the only thing I'm asking for just a like and it will motivate me to make more videos for you guys and it will take you actually a millisecond to click on it so I would really appreciate it and again I talk too much about the things I do I apologize that's the only thing you have to keep up with me in these videos is me talking about the things I do so I can promote my videos obviously but for now as I said I will show you how to hide a section on the mobile for your Shopify store so let's just get to it obviously I'm gonna scroll down and pick a section from here for example let's just go for this contact as right here so I want this contact form right here to not be shown on the mobile for example if I did right click and inspect to switch to the mobile uh, let me pick for, for example 12 Pro iPhone 12 Pro as you can see it does show this contact form in here so I want it to be completely removed and not just the contact in my case it's the contact form in your case you can pick whatever section you want and I will show you how actually to find the code for that particular section so you can implement it on your Shopify store so the first thing we're going to do is access Shopify dashboard obviously I'm gonna keep this F1 open right here because we're gonna get back to it we need it for to find the code for this section the first thing we're going to do as I said is access Shopify dashboard after that click on the online store from the left menu then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code right here and it will open up the code editor for our Shopify store 
next thing you're going to do is access the assets folder right here simply click on it and it will show you a lot of css for uh, files and gs files make sure you do access base.css and it might be team.css so either way if you cannot find base.css you will find in here team.css and vice versa if you cannot find team.css you will find base.css and yeah i said css too many times so obviously in my case it's base.css so i'm gonna click on it simply click on it and it will show you a lot of css called in here and the next thing you're going to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom page let me drag this down because it's a pretty big file and here we go after that make sure you do access completely new line nothing on it then the next thing you're going to do is as always scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as call and again you don't have to pay for it or anything like that it's completely free so simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here where you're gonna see this very short code again that will do the trick so as you can see uh, this code right here it has this hashtag and there is a long uh, id in here which is the id for this section obviously so each uh, section will have a different id that's really obvious in your case will have a different id because you don't want to change the same contact as the right here the same contact form in my case and even if you don't want to change contact form it will have a different id obviously that depends on each store so we need to change this id to the id for the section that you want to hide and i'm going to show you how to do that so just hold on a second the first thing you're going to do in here is select this code right here simply select the whole code make sure you do include this this bracket right here so right click oops let me do that again right click and copy after you did copy the code get back in here and as i said paste it at the bottom of the file so let me paste it in here and the next thing we're going to do is obviously uh, change this id right here to the id for the section that we want to hide on the mobile and to do that get back in here as i said we're gonna keep this open because we need it so by the way if you cannot just do like this if you are accessing shopify store just like this uh, do right click and click on inspect in here then click on the you will find uh, it might be responsive just like this click on responsive and pick a, a mobile phone from here in my case i'm going to go for iphone 12 pro and here we go so after that uh, click on this uh, icon right here you will see simply click on it and click on the section that you want to remove or to hide from the mobile so make sure to click on it then it will highlight some code on it and hover over the code and make sure to go on top of it on top of the section that it did highlight on top of it until the, the whole section in here will be highlighted this one right here so uh, let me go up here we go so if i did go up a little bit right now it will highlight the one on top this one actually stop start from the top of the page get back like this here we go here we go here we go here we go so this one is for the one on top if i scroll down if i go down a little bit here we go for the contact test page so this one is for the contact page if you can see clearly here it says section id and there is an id in here between the quotation marks as you can see so make sure to select this id in between the quotation marks in here so just right click and copy and make sure you do not uh, copy the quotation marks as well just the id in between them let me select them again here we go without the quotation marks as i said and make sure you remember the last digits or letters in here so you can make sure that you did copy the whole thing let me do right click and copy so it ends mine actually it ends with b49 and it starts with shopify dash section and ends as i said with b49 so i'm gonna get back in here and replace the previous one with the section that i want to hide so just select the whole thing and make sure you do keep the hashtag do not remove the hashtag that's really important otherwise it will not work so let me remove the previous id and i can see the hashtag is still there let me paste in the new one and as i said it ends with b49 here is b49 and starts with shopify dash section so we did replace the id for the section that i want to hide which is as i said the contact form right now the next thing you're going to do and the last thing you're going to do is simply click on save button right here and after the changes will save it we will get back to the page right here reload the page and this contact form should be gone 
because we did select iPhone 12 Pro, which is a mobile, obviously. And we will close this and get back to the desktop and it will be shown again. So let's just reload the page. And here we go. There is no contact form anymore, as you can see. So as you can see, there is no contact form anywhere else on the Shopify store. So it's gone. But if I did close this right here, here we go. It did show up, as you can see, without having to even to reload the page, as you can see. So let's just do that again so you can see inspect and iphone here with iphone 12 pro and there is no more contact form as you can see if i close it it will get back here we go as you can see so that's how you completely hide a section on your shopify store on the mobile without using any apps or anything like that and completely free and lightweight without affecting the loading time of your shopify store so as I said, if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again, why is that? Because simply, I'm working for you. Otherwise, I think my job is done for this video. So thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.